in this question, I want to use hypothesis testing using rejection region to analyze this specific case. A used car dealer says that the mean price of a two-year-old sedan in good condition is about at least $20,500. You suspect this claim is incorrect, and as a statistician, you find a random sample of 14 similar vehicles with mean price of $19,850 and a standard deviation of $1,084. Is there enough evidence to reject the dealer's claim at 5% level of confidence? And this is an example of a left tail test. First of all, since sigma or population standard deviation is missing and the sample is random and the population is normally distributed, all coming from the question, you're going to use a t-test. The claim is the mean price is at least equal or more than $20,000. $500. So no hypothesis is given to you. We can easily construct the alternative hypothesis, which says, hey, the population mean should be less than $20,500. So you have a left out test. The test is left out. Why is that? Because your alternative hypothesis is less than. Since it's less than, it is left out. Now, the degrees of freedom is 13, and the critical value is going to be negative 1.771. The rejection region is any number less than the critical value. So we're going to find the standardized test statistic, which is t equals to x bar minus mu divided by s over square root of n. x bar is the sample mean, which is what you calculated. 19,850, and mu is the proposed population mean, which is $20,500, divided by S, S is the sample standard deviation, divided by square root of N, which is 14. After doing this calculation, you get negative 2.244, which is basically less than the critical value. So it lands in the rejection region. What's the conclusion? We're going to reject the null hypothesis. So since you're rejecting the null hypothesis, it means that you are supporting the alternative hypothesis. Let's take a look at the summary together. We write down the null and alternative hypothesis. We find the critical value. Then we move on to calculate the standardized test statistic. And as you can see, it lands in the rejection region. So you reject the claim. There is enough evidence at 5% level of significance to reject the claim that the mean price of a two-year-old sedan is at least $20,500. Let me use a calculator and show you how to do the calculation using TI-84. So let me share the screen with you and you see what's going on here. Very good. Okay. Here we go. So you're going to go to stat and you're going to go to the test. This is a t-test because sigma is missing. So when you go to the t-test, you don't have the actual data. You have the statistic of the data. Mu sub zero is the proposed population mean, which is 20,500. X bar is the sample mean, which is 19,850 dollars. Standard deviation of the sample is 1,084. And then in the next half, you have the sample mean, which is 14. And remember that it's a left out test. So when you do the calculation, this is what you get. T is negative 2.24, which is similar to what we calculated using the algebra and the formula. And P value is very small. It's 2%. 2% is less than 5%. So you can easily see that using p-value, you're going to reject the null hypothesis.